Welcome to Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out DLC. My name is Nidal, so this is the second episode of our new Let's Play. And wouldn't you know it, the day after I... No, actually the same day as I decide to start a new, a new series. Well, what do they do? They release another build. So what has happened in the latest build? These have all been changed now and now there's a... A default one this is the terror cluster but the terror cluster actually also has these kind of uh, the new grub grubs and new things but it also has hatches this to me seems a bit too easy i really like the the one we were we were starting on so what i have done is i have started over on the new build with the same seed that we had before and what i've then done it's not actually the same build or sort of the same location, but I have uh, spent exactly the same seven cycles, gotten exactly the same dupe as close as possible. And you can see that here. This is the new colony. And if I didn't tell you, you'd probably think it looks exactly like the old one. There are very subtle differences. We also have five dupes. We have a toilet up here. We have a little water reservoir here. I had to block it in a bit better this time. Uh, in the previous one, there is a large pack of Paku here, but that we dropped down, they are not here. But I've still taken all of the nearby water, uh, polluted water, and just plopped it down here at the bottom. Uh, we've started up the farming tiles, which is the latest tech that we just got. And that will be the focus of today. Uh, in the previous, when we did it here, I had my potential great hole where they eat right over here. But I have to move it up here because I didn't want to let these slugs, plug slugs out as part of it before we are ready to do it. So... This is uh, where we are, and this is where we're going to continue from at this point. Let's get them all started. So let's see. Oh, I'm going to go over away from this overlay. So basically, it's all the same. What I'm going to do here in today is going to focus on the pollute. Uh, uh, do we want that? I don't want it to be high priority. We can, at this point, uh, build a great hall. I'm going to lock this one in here. This will be where we have our great hall. And I guess that one has to go out here as well. And then we built some tables. Tables are furniture. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's somewhere they can eat. We have five dupes and all these. So now comes the next part. We don't have any grub fruit seedlings, but we have butt, butt buckets. <coughs> Buck buckets. Yes. Buck buckets are interesting. They have a... Domesticated with 6.6 cycles. That's actually quite a long time. And that's why we have to get them set up quickly. They also take a stupid amount of water to uh, to read 400, 440 kilos per cycle. So that's why we need the pitcher pump down here so we can pump up water. Well, actually get it here. We don't have the aqua thing where we can feed them through. And they are, let's see, irrigation is missing air pressure. Oxygen, polluted oxygen, carbon dioxide, they have a very narrow range of 10 to 30. These ones are good, but they're not the ones we really want. We want the other ones, but we get, we have trouble with our food, so that's going to be something we need to deal with first. I think that if I did something like this, it should be okay. I'm not going to overflow, but there is a chance, though, that they can... Yeah. Then they can take out these two, this one... We'll just auto harvest everything that's around us there. Just just because. Okay, and aside from this, we also want to let this one go in here, and that will unlock these plug slugs. Plug slugs are very interesting. They seem better than they actually are. <laughs> yeah, they uh, what they do is they breathe or they exude hydrogen. Yeah, that's that is what it is. But at night, so one eighth of a cycle, they will fall asleep. And when they fall asleep, they will make a plug that we can actually uh, access. And that one gets harvested. What I want to do is actually, and then I can take that one out. And I'll just take all of this out as well. I'll actually take all of that out so it can flow more easily out here. Should be good. And that one, once this is locked up, then it's actually good. That will be a place where they can eat. And they have the toilets. Everything seems good. There's, we only have five of these, so that's what we have to do right now. This, oh, look at this. So now they are generating actually only 200. So I guess they've been nerfed or something. Is that because they're hungry? Hungry, happy, hungry. Okay, they're hungry. The big problem and the reason why they're not as useful as 
<clears throat> as they seem, is because they need they eat metal, and you don't really want them to eat metal. I don't want them to eat metal for sure. So, what I want to do is actually just lock them up in here and try and see if I can box them in before they get out. Like that. I have to be very careful about my ceiling collapse where. Okay, that's okay. Just make sure that we don't get in here to get all those water coming in. And uh, now they're actually. You're locked in. Now you're not locked in anymore. Alright, Tin Cabbage, watch it. Oh, good jump. And don't go out. Please lock these up first. Lock them up first. Come on. Yes. Perfect. Now they are pretty much locked up. What I can do now is uh, I can take a wire and build it here. And then hook it up to... We'll just do that. It's not going to be pretty, but it's going to be something. So I'm going to take this as well. Which can't be done just yet. So one, two, and three. Yep. And did anyone get out? No, they didn't. Don't go out. Don't go out. They can't go out. I think they can't go out. So what this one will be, it's kind of just a little power room. We do need batteries, better batteries. Uh, research. Ooh. All right. So we got the food. We got the this one. So we could do advanced research. And what we really want to do, there are a couple of things that are super important to get. Uh, this one. one is the deodorizers, because that will turn polluted oxygen into uh, into oxygen. That's very nice. We also have uh, a sludge press somewhere that will, this one will generate water for mud. Really nice as well. And we're talking about DLC buildings. And then the biggest one is actually, huh. We can use the search solar, solar panel, there, that one, renewable energy solar panel. So this is kind of deep, but it's incredibly useful because there's barely any coal, there's no wood, there's no petroleum, there's no ethanol, there's no oil. Uh, so all the usual ways of generating few, uh, power is kind of gone until we get renewable solar energy. So we really want to get that because there are no, uh, no meteors. So if you just walk all the way up, build the solar panels, then you're pretty much set to go. And uh, what I do want is the big battery. So we might as well work this way here. That's good. And this one will give us some power, not a lot because we don't really have that. And what I'd like to do is actually find somewhere that has carbon dioxide, like make a little carbon dioxide pit. Mm. This one would probably be our, our cooking station eventually, but not really just yet. Uh, can we make, we can make a water cooler, so let's do that. And uh, no. Water cooler, water cooler. Water cooler should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then 1, and then that one. I think that's actually there. It might open up for the cold in here. Yeah, it's pretty chilly in here, but I want this one. Because I want 6 plus 6 here, plus some kind of, uh, ha, ha, ha. yeah, okay. It's not exactly... Yeah, it's not going to pluck that one. Is it still a room? Yes, it's still a mess hall, but I want it to be a great hall. So now we have for six dupes. We don't have enough food. That is absolutely a certainty. So now we can start just clearing out things and making it a bit better. We want to actually also get towards ranching. So we can get to wrench some dupes. We don't want to wrench these. We just, oh no. How did that happen? And why does this thing happen? There we go. Uh, and that one as well. <laughs> All right. That's, that's not great. How did they get so useless? Uh, okay. You wanted to do that first. Okay. I guess that's just a task you want to do. So taking a step back. Okay. And then I'm going to Build that one again, and build that one again, and I'm gonna make make a higher priority there. The reason why I want this is because I don't want them to, uh, when they fall asleep, I want them to fall asleep up here. Good. All right. Science is working. Food food is not good. Food is actually very bad. We're gonna keep digging here, and dig that on up. We want to go out and get all of this. There's some. That's a bug bucket. We're gonna uproot it so we can get it back in our. Deposit. I'm going to go all the way over here, take all of these. And that's a mallow. 
Okay, what your temperature? Okay, you can only be up to 30 degrees. It's kind of hot over here. Okay, let's take that one out and see if we can plant it somewhere to make it nice. This one is in order for this to be a great hole, which will give us, you can see the difference, three or plus six. That is super important. It's big enough and I just need a decor item plus 20 and a recreational building. This counts as a recreational building. And the decor item plus 20. Hmm. What could we do that would be a decor item plus 20? I don't have any. No, I love the furniture. I don't have anything yet. So, oh, and this one also really important. Just don't have it. Otherwise, it uses a lot of water and it's not worth it. And this is good. These are stuck here, so they'll be going. And do I have the big battery? I do have a big battery. Where do I want to put the batteries? Well, I actually want to put them in here, because why not? See, there we go. They're now charging with 400. I guess that's because there was a bit of oxygen or a bit of power in here. And um, this one. There. And this should only be like at 20. Hopefully we can... The idea at the very beginning is just try to use whatever you have of these, get while they are, while they're wild, and just get them to, yeah, get them to fill up batteries as much as possible. Oh, not really. There. Okay, and you're not stuck. Great. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's uh, consider where we are now. Um, this water could be cycled into, we could make some better. We, and not that one, but let's make the cots bigger here. That's here. What we really want to do is get some more space so that we can oops, get some more ranches. Ranches is what we really, really want. Uh, this part over here could, okay. See, there we have some sweetles. That's what we want. We don't have anyone who's good enough at ranching yet. What do we get? Uh, take that out we did get these two uh, we could get a smart battery but smart battery requires refined and we have no use of refined before we get this one so we can do this one to get refined to get that one uh, but we also need automation even before that or we can get someone who can do some just basic this decor items but also that one is really important i think i'll go straight for this one Deodorizers. Deodorizers in the expansion require 5 watt of power, which is super reasonable. So you can't just spam them everywhere. You can spam them everywhere, but you have to remember just a bit of power for them. That one seems good. I don't have a need for better toilets yet. I don't have a need for other oxygen production. The sublimation station is going to keep four dupes happy. And if I can surround it with deodorizers, it's going to be super nice. That's going to be happening yeah, afterwards, all of this. Now these get built. Oops. Copy. Also into that one. And that one just got stuck. Oh, that's a lot of water potentially. Isn't that? Is that actually a problem? Eh, uh, not really, because I wanted to flow down here anyway. I'm gonna take these out. Take this and this one as well, just so that it can. F I have a nice flow here. And I guess everything going down, but it's not a problem because it will not fall into our precious water supply, but it will fall into pretty much everywhere else because I didn't get these two out in time. Damn. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> Copy setting to that one and to that one, which isn't really... There we go. Now I can take this one out because that will not be filled up with pollution anymore. That's a bit of a waste to do it this way. This one I'm not going to do anything until I get this one sorted. So, you can see we have also some no new plug slugs up here or additional plug slugs. We also have more polluted oxygen or polluted water that we want to tap. And just get basically all the polluted water collected immediately. It's also going to be nice with because... Yeah, oh, and there we have our cool slush geyser. Uh, and there we have the other one. There's always these two. So there's one cool salt slush geyser and one cool slush geyser. They're unfortunately a bit higher. I'd much rather have them further down, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, so we're gonna have to make do with what we get. So the next thing we want to do is build a location. I think this this one can stay here for a bit, but we have to go into this even though it's a bit hot because this is where my Sweetles are and I need the Sweetles because they are basically they are 
the advantages of a Sweetle. Let's have a look, talk a bit about the Sweetles, what they do. They are a group called Divergence, and they start out as these little bugs. They go around, they have long legs, and they're pretty cute. They eat sulfur, and they excrete sucrose. When, if they tend to these plants, the spindly grub fruits, they can turn the spindly grub fruits into, instead of a spindly grub fruit plant, just a grub fruit plant, which is, uh, is it better? It's, it takes twice as long, but it gets twice as much uh, food out of it. So it's debatable whether it's better. Um, but it's, it's generally something you want to do, but because if they tend it, uh, that's just one of them, that's ventilation. If they tend this, there's also a chance that they will evolve and lay a grub grub egg. A grub grub is a big larva that is super good. It can eat sulfur or sucrose, excretes mud. Uh, so it's not particularly useful what it excretes, but actually that's actually kind of useful. That's not it. But these have a buff when they go around uh, cuddling the plants. That will be absolutely super valuable. It gets plus 50% crafting speed or 50% uh, uh, farming speed. That is super good. So it's really all about getting that. Now what it's all about getting is a new dupe. And I, you're gonna start, stick to six for now. If we get a good one. Ooh, wow. Innately stylish and slow learner. Mm -hmm. Building, supplying, rocketry, grease monkey, cannot do digging. I don't like someone who doesn't do digging. Everyone should be doing digging because otherwise they can't dig themselves out of problem. Uh, this is a very narrow-minded, but farming. I don't think I need a lot of farming. This is Vichu. There, innately stylish. Well, isn't that correct? Uh, hold on. Ah, slow learner is bad. But gosh, that's right. Another one is, is actually suit wearing. Athletics is just plus hundred percent run speed. I'll take this. I don't know if slow learner is anything. Uh, minus thirty percent skill learning. Wow, that's bad. That's so bad. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like slow learning. Ah, we'll take it. Vichu, you're a slow learner. We'll uh, welcome you in the colony anyway. And if I... If I do this one first, yeah? Then I can also do that one. Because I don't think more should, shouldn't get any more in here. So let's clean it up. There. Good. And all of this polluted water will then hopefully uh, be uh, put back into these plants. So they can actually... Be Why? No. Don't un undo them. Right. So what we're going to start working on is... Did we, how's our research? Where is our research going? Uh, we are working with one, this one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we still don't have any good solutions to food. I don't like this one, pollution exposure. I don't like that, I don't like that. Uh, this is kind of the only place where we have a bit of carbon dioxide collected. Oh, how did that one happen again? Oh, because it's all mud. Uh, okay, maybe I should have just let that one. But the good thing is that we get this one uh, extracted easily and I wanted to do that anyway, still. Not in the water. No pollution in... Oh, okay. Damn it. Uh, whoop. Missing resource days. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I know, I know. That's actually what we wanted to do. We want to take this one out. Uh, this one. Okay, missing research. And then we can get the other one. So, well, you can start working on first half of it anyway. That's still something. These ones need no seed available, that's fine. Do we have anywhere we can see any more seeds of the bug buckets? Not really. I don't see any. Sleet weeds, oh, sleet weeds. Just uh, always, always harvest those if you can. Why not? And once this is done, then we can sweep this one once and for all. And these harvest, what is this one? A swamp chart heart thing. This one should be deconstructed and I'm gonna give them more commands just because this one will probably be our first ranch or maybe that one would be our first ranch I think ranching will be right here 
I think that's a good place to make ranging. All right, when this one's done, then we can make our new station. This is for advanced research. It goes right there. And this is super intentional to make it there because this one radiates light. Boom. And that means working on these stations is 15% faster. So might as well put it here. We don't have anything else we can use this location for anyway. Uh, we want these to be filled up. And I really don't want you to... Okay, so research station is not a problem. Uh, you can still work on that research. This one is good. And now finally we can mop up that one. And I don't want to mop up this one because the more can fall in. This one's good. This one's good. I I don't know if I just want to go straight up so I can empty this. I want this one to be... I want this one to always produce and then just drop it down here. The thing is, it's also producing at a very nice cold temperature, which is super nice. So temperature will probably not be a problem here around here in the space. This one's good. This one's good. And we are now working on research. You are still running around. I don't like you running around here. I'd also like to tap this. Did we... We didn't get any decor items. No. Now, at this point in the game, we actually have the six dupes we want. We want to actually give them a lot of tasks for just uh, cleaning things out. So I'm going to queue up some... <clears throat> that was not pretty. I'm going to queue up some tasks for them. And we're probably going to do a little time lapse just to uh, speed things along. I don't dare go over here. This is not, it's dirt. It's not mud, so it's okay. Uh, and then we take this one out. I know this is kind of risky because I'm going over here where there's heat. It's not that bad heat. I mean, this is 29 degrees. It's going to be fine as long as I sort of ha uh, take it out like this. Um, here and that one. Just basically hollowing all of these out. It's just something I, I like doing quite early in the base. Because it gives us just a bit more room to work with. Here. And basically what we also need to do is we need to get more science going. And uh, yeah, science is... Science is science. And, and it takes a while to get this one, for example. We just need this there. That one needs to be built first. I'd also like this one. This is not a great place to have this, so um, I can actually do that. Uh, that one I don't dare build. I, I just can't really see the consequence of it. But if I do this, then I'm going to build that one. I can build this one from downstairs, and that should be fine. I'm also going to take all of this out. Uh, I really like big open bases, so that's why I do this kind of thing. Just to get a bit... Oops. What is that? Uh, that's one of these. Okay, cool. There. It's only going to open up into the cold here. I don't really mind. The dupes are super resistant to it. I have a bit too much heat here, a bit too much cold here, a bit too much heat up there. Um, I'm also going to tap that one because I want this water, even though it's nice and cold, to go down here. This is a nice big reservoir. And we're just going to keep that. So... At this point, I am going to just uh, switch to here, and then we are going to speed it up and let it just roll for a bit. Now we have research complete. And that's one of the milestones. We now have deodorizers. And what the next one I want to go for is actually farming. That one, ranching. So when we get ranching, that's also a big milestone. I want to get this one because now we can start actually cleaning up the air. And we're going to do that primarily. We also have airflow tiles. So I'm going to do this. Um, the, uh, no, no, no. Not like that. Uh, these will have to be up here. And... So airflow tiles, they are what they sound like. They let the airflow. And then I'm going to make there, 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 there. So each of these can handle 100 per second. And you'll now see that there. Which means everything that comes out here, 660 per second. But it's probably not going to work all the time. And this one should also be prioritized down. Um, because it really shouldn't be working. I'd rather, much rather have these working. I'll take this one. So this goes before. This is important. Oops. I didn't want you upgraded. 
that one and then we're going to make a few of these around the base where we think we have the most issues and but also preferably somewhere that I can get some oxygen or some here we have six dupes and this is the only one this can provide enough for six dupes barely but it can and this is now going to be a problem I only have one network you go here I would love to just drag it up here but then I'm gonna uh, tap the water out so I'm actually gonna be careful about that for once there and that one just goes straight over and that will be good I think We want to make the network, the electric network, higher priority. There. And that one, yes. And then we have sand. The question is, we're going to go take this one and go sand just to see if sand is a problem. We don't have a lot of sand. Hmm. But I think when we have, if we have a crusher, we can crush some more sand. And that's going to be good. Um, this one, I don't want to do that. This is getting there. Hmm. <clears throat> No seed available, no seed available for all of these. That's kind of problematic. Next thing we want to do is work on our farms. Uh, actually, our it's not actually farms. It's, uh, it's ranches, but they will work as farms. So I'm going to keep this one in here. This needs to be uh, 34 wide. That's the maximum size of a farm. And then... Actually, it's, it feels weird going all the way over here right now, but we'll just do it. This is a problem. And I need these. And I also actually... Four. All of this shouldn't be done like that, I think. Oh, dear. I know that I have a, I have a specific way to do this. But I can't... <laughs> can't quite see one two three four those are for my ranching things and then i'll do that one and then it's one two three four five six i think that makes sense two three four one two three four. that's seven and then this one's one one two three four five six seven i think that might be one too many there so my idea of this is i want this to be a ranch but the ranch should include the farming um, and it's going to be farming the spindy crop fruits and it's basically a ranch for sweetles so we are going to go out and grab some sweetles there one two three plus a little here and this one as well i can also do i think i'm going to just uh i'm i'm just trying to figure out how i would oops how i would dig this so that i can still stand here Maybe like that. Or maybe this is just a matter of building one of these. Yep. And then on the other side, I'll go here. And then I can range the Sweetles when I get the next tier. The next, you can see our food is not doing so hot. We are working our way on the research. Let's look at the research. I'm 23 and I have 20 advanced. So the advanced is already done. That's actually pretty good. And then I'm going to do research. Uh, Number six for all of this one because this is the one that we needed. I'm also going to do it for priority six for this one uh, while the research is priority eight. So that should give us. It's actually kind of annoying that these are not there. Okay, so also priority six. But I want the priority five just to be the random things. So we're going to do again just a short uh, time lapse just to let it just evolve and. Uh, Get them to do it. We don't need to be looking at that. Let's see. What was that? That was a new warning. Research complete. Whoa. No, we don't. Actually, that's actually already done. Sorry. No research. No. Um, none of that for you. So the next one we want to do is we have farming. And we'd like to get this one. With us, but we need brute force that first. Not super important. And so what I think we want to do first is down here, just get a bit of that one, get this one afterwards. I don't know if a flower pot is enough. I'll do this one. So we want to get a spindly grub fruit, but first we can start establishing our range. And I have a tutorial on ranching. Oh, first it's a station, a grooming station. That will be on this location. Because it's shortest walking path for that. 
Uh, I know that some people don't necessarily like this one and a critter. Okay, so that's a critter feeder and that's a critter drop off. So those are the things I need here. And then I need some farm tiles. I will also make these tight. Priority six, good. So they actually get built. <clears throat> and that's what we need in order to make it an actual branch. And then we need this one to be built here. Uh, the spindly grub fruits are actually a lot easier to deal with than than the, the bug buckets because bug buckets need so much water and they are not really just getting there new printables available i am not going to take a new dupe at this point i think four six dupes is just enough until we have uh, food under control so we're going to take something else is snazzy oh we'll take the sand because we need that so i didn't even look at them we'll take a bit of sand so we can have that for our here our deodorizers if we look at this there's a good oxygen spread not so much up here I'm technically not producing enough oxygen here. All right, so the one thing that's the most important is actually is actually here, just too nasty. Just too nasty absolutely must work immediately towards mechatronic engineer because I want a mechatronic engineer, even though it's a high requirement, but I want a mechatronic engineer as fast as possible because that means we can automate things. Which you that we got, we didn't even give you anything, but you, we give you a farming. That's good. Farming is good. And you could be farming and ranching. Let's make sure that on the schedule, uh, Vichu is up here, but we can take Vichu down to one of these. And that one. Good. And priorities. Let's make sure that gets updated. And you want farming to be prioritized. Yep. And. Yeah. Dec what? Just to nasty decorating? Mm, operating. Operating is much more important. Operating is your thing. So if anything needs operating, you do that. Actually, that's super uh, weird, by the way, because if you get to mechatronic engineer, only the mechatronic engineer can build the mechatronics, like uh, the, the grabbers and uh, rails. But that's a build command and not a mechatronic command. So they actually need to be able to do that anyway. And let's see. So we need, oops, we don't have anywhere to leave our compost compost is not great in this game but it's gonna be have to be done and i'll just do that one it's not super important okay you're emptying it and i don't think i want two of these by the way i don't think they're particularly good they're not necessary they convert polluted mud to mud look at that the or air around here is starting to become better uh, it's not gonna fix all the other war other air anywhere else and all of this is that worth it? It probably isn't. That's why are they doing that? Why are they, is does, does that mean that no one actually has building as priority? Building Saint Cabbage has building as priority, and I guess that all the digging ones. There's only one who has digging command. So I really think this should be higher priority. Get this done. Uh, that should be X zero. X zero is the only one who has digging as highest, right? Yes. Saint Cabbage is the only one who has that one. And as long as there's research, ah, just an ethic. Okay, hold on. Can we just, this one doesn't really work, right? Uh, it's... I really don't want them to work on this. Oh, they do it because some of the batteries are only at 20%. So we're not really using a lot of power right now. So we should be allowing the slugs to just get it done during the night. That will hopefully be enough until we sort of can move on. Did you? Build stuff. I want to, this is the only thing that should be built right now. And then mining this one, which can't be mined because the rest of here isn't built yet. They're spending way too much time on eating and stuff. This is one of our big issues. Like, how are we going to tap this in a nice and sensible way? Oh, research complete. Building entombed. Uh, yeah, that's not really something for us. We'll get there when we get there. Uh, research complete. Okay, we're working towards this one. That's close. And building, 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 building. Come on, guys. Someone. Where's St. Cabbage? St. Cabbage is the one who is our dedicated builder. Yeah, we, well, correlated also doing. So this one is saying we don't have a rancher. So that's not good. And it's not in a stable. So aside from this, it's great. Here we are going to select what critters we want. We want Sweetles and Sweet Lava. That's the only one we spotted. And I want a total of seven of those. And I want it to be high priority. Might as well set it and have auto wrangle in the excess. For now. And that's going to get built. Then we'll build all of this row. 
get over here, get those spindlies in here so they can start farming those and then get the them in here. Yeah, that's basically what we want. Come on. Delivering dirt. Oh yeah, you need dirt for the farm tiles. That's true. I'm mostly worried about our uh, our food in the beginning. So it's only going down and it's not... Re well, there we go. Research. And I want a mess hall as well. I'll just knock this one out. This is simple. I don't know if the, we can build a potted plant here that will actually give us enough. We could try building a potted plant here. There we go. We have these built. Oh, look at that. That's just a little slug egg. That's very nice. And hopefully when they fall asleep, we can recharge something. And we have dupes. Oh, dear. There we go. Oh, that's because you're not really a good researcher. Ah, uh, you're a researcher, but you're also a constructor. Oh, dear. That's why nothing gets done on, con on this construction side, because my constructor is... Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. This is just increased it increase but this one enables something new so let's get the field research done now i get it sorry about that uh researching is too high priority and researching is nice and all but this one will be spindly crop food that we don't have yet food i am going to say my oh where are they sweetle sweetles what why can i not click it because I don't have any? Huh. Okay. Let's get over here. Let's get this one done. Is it? I'm just going to go bump it to priority 7. All of this. I want it. Yeah. Now this... Sh Why is it not a stable, actually? Outside of stable. What does it require for it to be a stable? Uh, size is... There we go. Size was correct, or maybe it was just wasn't locked off correctly. I guess that was it. Farming. Uh, these ones, they're still getting all the stuff they need, and... Buck bucket. 95%. So they're actually almost done. That's just nice. We don't have anywhere that we have... Ah, right here we have some polluted... Some carbon dioxide is the only place we actually have it. It's actually down here. This is something we've seen before. That it's only by the water we actually have this. And maybe I don't want to build that. Maybe I want to build... Just build it like this instead. Good. Let's see. Is there any new research that we absolutely must have? Yes. Now it's working towards... Research, uh, research, research, research. It's that one. And after that, we can go to this one. And then we can start some automation slowly. <clears throat> but I really wanted this one to be done. Let's uh, wait a mid minute and then see this one get done. Uh, food not being healthy is not great. Uh, actually, this is the other way around. here that one done that one done don't want that anywhere here and this is I don't get why they're not really working on this it's just a distance maybe right we are gonna speed things up because I want this one to be done so let's uh, go to our zoom up map and speed things up and then see how the base evolves for just a bit Okay, so we now have these, and I don't want to see them drown. So let's make absolutely sure they don't drown. I am going to ranch these. I don't have anyone who can ranch. Oh, dear. Um, do we have anyone who is close? Who's the one we could do ranching? Yeah, you want to do ranching? You are so damn close. Yes, let's get that ranching done. And I want this one to be dug down so that it can get there. This is a problem with that up here. Because I can't close this off. Not easily at least. But maybe if I built something like this. I can get 
some of these things locked off as well like seven uh, these ones can't be rinsed yet but now at least they will not drown so that's a good start here we have now the location we can get spindly grub fruits at priority six and continue on those great this is now still outside of a stable the reason why it's outside of a stable is because of this one i am really keen on x0 can do super hard you are so damn close x0 you are gonna get super hard digging yeah let's get that because now you're the only one who can actually go through abyssalite that's great these ones are getting there but they need fertilization with sulfur and i think when that one gets popped there now it's a stable yes it is good i'm going to clean this up and maybe also clean this up maybe and we have sulfur down here sulfur is something we just want to keep an eye on uh what do we not have sulfur what Okay, well, I guess we don't need to dig up these kind of urgently if that's uh, really the only sulfur we have at this moment. Uh, I know there's a lot of sulfur on the map. All of this is sulfur, but we just haven't gotten into it yet. Actually, that's not an overwhelming amount of sulfur. Oof, interesting. That one was forgotten. And at this point, do we have skills correlated? Critter ranging, perfect. Creator ranching, we got that creator ranching done. And we can also start the next science. That's gonna be here. Now we have a rancher. And that one, these two. They are high priority ranching. I want them and I want them to get in here. And I can now take these two out. Ta-da! Let's have a look. And now you just need to deliver them, my friend. Right? Seven. Outer wrangle. Sweetles. All right. Anyone errands? Correlated. There we go. Ta-da! We have a little Sweetle. And the Sweetle will now go and tend to these fruits, hopefully. Please do. <laughs> Please do. That's what we, uh, what, what this whole thing has been all about, is getting, making sure that that's done. This one. Now I'm going to go make sure that you get some food. Sweetles. Can I get sulfur? Ah, it's because I didn't have anything there. Great. That makes sense. Here. Yeah. Now I can get that. This is no longer a toilet for some reason. Because that one got unlocked. And I can now sweep this up as well. I can't. Why can I not? Oh, you trust. Okay, come on. Come on. You can do it. Uh, hold on. I also need to prioritize. Ranching. Absolutely. Ranching above all else. Yeah, not you doing anything else. X0 is the only one who can do mining, so mine through this one so we can capture more of these. They need to be captured, and they need to... There we go. This one is now a grub fruit plant. Growing 6%, and it has Sweetle Tending. Sweetle Tending gives it plus 5% speed. Whoop, there we go. Oof. It turned that one as well into it, so it's beautiful. We don't need that many. Ah, there we go. Now we have two. We have two Sweetles in Oblet, and boom. They have been converted into grub fruit plants, which are mm, better-ish, I guess. That one as well. And I think we're... Whoops. I would basically say we got the stuff we needed. If we got three of those in, and we have... Okay, we also can... Tr Trust and capture all of these. Yay. That's one, two. Oh, one more. There you go. We can actually have six of those now. Great. And that's going to be pretty full. And I need this in order for us to keep them con to convert and get them to... Where do we have more of those seeds? We really want more of those, uh, those seeds. These spindly grub reps. And that's going to be one of the next things we want to do is to going absolutely super aggressive out to get these any way possible except maybe flooding them uh, because that's really the most important thing that we can do uh, power is not really keeping up but that's uh, this is now the base as it is now we got finally got a, a ranch up and running 
I will gradually transition all of these Sweetles into Grub Grubs because Grub Dubs are just so much better. And uh, this seems to be a good place to end the second episode. And uh, for just the usual things, uh, since this is a new series, I really appreciate any likes and shares and subscribes and all that stuff that comes from it. It means the world to me and it really also signals that you want to see more of this oxygen not included here on YouTube. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop on Twitch because on Twitch it'll be more sort of uh, experimental while this will be more, hopefully more structured. <clears throat> yeah, well, it is, hopefully. So, thank you for watching. And uh, if you want to support the channel, well, there is a Patreon link in the description below. And that will also give you, make you accessible to get dupes uh, named after you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care and stay effective.